The next house on our tour of homes of Ascension Parish is with Randy Anderson of Realty Executives. Now, Randy, this is a really out of the way spot. I've lived in Ascension Parish just down the road for about 10 years and did not know this area was here. Yeah, it's tucked away really in the corner that uh, Old Jefferson and Highway 42 make. Mm -hmm. It's real convenient to Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's kind of tucked away. All large lots in here. This particular lot happens to be two acres. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of country living in a subdivision. That's right. Oak Grove Estates is the name of it. And the house itself is large. Randy, tell us how big this house is. Well, it's 4,175 feet of living area, but it includes under roof over 6,700 square feet. Uh, part of that is a 996 square foot, guys, get this, wood shop area, work mm -hmm. area, work, workshop. Incredible. Uh, they did have the foresight, though, to pre-plumb it mm -hmm. and separately air condition it so there's somebody that didn't, uh, whose wife wouldn't allow them to have that big a workshop, mm -hmm. they could make it into a, a mother-in-law suite mm -hmm. or some other f function for the house. Or the new name for that is the college student suite. Yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> a return, return child suite, that's right. Definitely a multi-purpose area and it's very large and like you said, air conditioner on its own, air conditioner so you don't have to have the, the house uh, cooling it off the whole time if you're not using it. And then that's next to the, uh, the two-car garage and a boat port. Yeah, boat port will accommodate up to a 26-foot boat. He's got some real cool thing, overhead things where you put your rods, store your mm -hmm. rods. Uh, and so it's actually a, a full double garage and the boat port and a garage door into that extra area we talked about we call the workshop. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's using that garage door for deliveries of lumber and so forth. Mm -hmm. But it could accommodate a car behind it. So if it was boxed in as a garage, it could be a, totally a separate living area. Absolutely. It's a great space. And then speaking of space, this house has plenty of it. And, yeah. um, and, you know, with the woodwork, too, there's lovely wood in here as well. Yeah, he's a big mahogany lover. We're going to see some of that. It's uh, fixtures in this room we're standing, in the, in the game room and elsewhere that's uh, really nice. It is four bedrooms. Uh, the guest bedroom is separate with its own bath. So there's three baths, three and a half or three and three quarters bath because mm -hmm. the bath off the workshop has its own shower. Mm -hmm. So um, you have a function where you can have a, a guest in and they're completely on their own side. Now, Randy, we were telling everybody how spacious this house is, and the master suite is definitely a good example of that. It is large. Yeah, the, the master bedroom itself is 23 by 17. Um, has an area you can make for seating as well. Obviously, you have plenty of room in there. Mm -hmm. um, the master bath is custom with separate vanities, his and hers, large uh, shower, as well as a jetted mm -hmm. tub. And the master closet off the master bath is a walk around from one side to the other. So it's walked through, plenty of storage area in there. And the wood flooring in here is special too. Tell us about the wood flooring. Yeah, the, the concrete is, or the foundation is actually sunk. And then they have wood skis and the, floor, the wood floor is placed on that. So it's, it gives that old feel mm -hmm. of going to your grandma's house, somebody's house where the house is on piers. Mm -hmm. It's actually a slab house, but it gives you that feel where the floor gives a little bit. That's right. The floor gives and it gives you that nice wooden floor squeak where yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like one of those fake floors. You can tell that's this right. is a, right. a nice real that's wood right. floor in that's here. Right. And then you have the, uh, the wood accents in the trim as well. And then this living area is very large and then also it's very high as well. Yeah, 12 foot ceilings in here, the 11 feet elsewhere in the house. Yeah, so this, this house was built custom for them. And it's, it's beautiful in its own way and in a beautiful subdivision, so it's a perfectly set. It sits on two acres. It's a two-acre lot. They have it partially fenced for the grandkids to play with it inside, mm -hmm. uh, inside that fence, but it is a full two-acre lot on the corner. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, also with this neighborhood, you could have horses as well if you chose. Yeah, there are people in here that have horses. They are allowed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's talk about this kitchen because this is a big old kitchen in here. Yeah, it has a Corian countertops. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not porous like granite, so some people prefer those. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a, a wolf stovetop with the grill, so you can grill inside. And the and, hood and the to hood. suck all yeah. that up. That's, That's very right. nice. That's very right. good feature. Nice oak cabinets in the, in, in the kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. And then a little bar that goes around where you can put you some bar stools and everything Yeah, else. a little breakfast area for children or grandchildren. And it is partially open to the living area as well, where you do have a wall that kind of uh, would hide the sink and everything else. You have some dirty <laughs> dishes out, but it's, uh, it's still open where you can come around and you can see what's going on in the, uh, the living area because there's plenty of space for people to be entertaining in here. And then you have all the built-ins here where you can put your TV away and all that yeah. kind of stuff too. Okay, now we also have some French doors here that lead out into the back. Let's talk, tell everybody about the back patio. Yeah, there's a, a patio, there's a regular porch outside, a covered porch, and then there's a pergola with a wooden uh, decking 
so you have extra area for entertaining or outside entertaining. Mm -hmm. And as we said earlier, there's a fenced in part of the yard back there. And there is a, an above ground pool which is partially submerged. And then you have all that area back there, like you said, it is partially fenced, which is perfect for kids and dogs. And then you have that whole area that's right behind the fence that's almost as big as a football field. So you can <laughs> yeah, do whatever you like with this very large lot. And you'll notice that there is mature landscaping everywhere, some beautiful trees that throw a lot of shade and things like that. Yeah, that's like a that. plus for this subdivision. It's, it's, it's an older subdivision, so it has the mature trees. Mm -hmm. And um, coming up to the house, it's beautiful from the street. Perfect to have that corner lot with all that beautiful landscape in there and a private neighborhood with great access to all the main roads that you need. Can't, uh, can't get any better than that. So you definitely want to come out and take a look at this house. How do they get in touch with you to get a tour? Well, they can certainly call me on my cell at 225-921-9777. And I would really encourage them maybe go to my website, which I know you always run at the bottom of mm -hmm. the page. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, but particularly for this house, because there's so many features, we don't really have time to talk about. I know we're going to forget some things. <laughs> yeah. So they're all listed at the website on the listing for the house. Absolutely.